<laughs> what is up guys welcome on back to tk's garage and i think this officially puts me back on team mopar damn fix it again tony <laughs> This and this are the same car? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Look at this little stubbly ass thing right here. All right guys, yes, you guys see it. This is new to me, but not really. It is kind of low miles though, if I really keep it honest, with only 68,000 miles really on its clock. That is right guys, we got a Fiat 500. A Fiat. <laughs> I already know, TK, that's not a Mopar. Technically, technically now, hear me out, this thing has the exact same powertrain as the Dodge Dart. Is it Dodge, not Mopar? I kid, I kid. But this is actually not bad as a car. It's got exceptionally low miles for the year. It's a 2013 Fiat 500, so it's basically 10 years old. No, it's not a Challenger or a Charger or a Chrysler 300. But technically, it is a Mopar, whether people like it or not. Anyways, I picked this thing up here in South Carolina, and we're going to take it back uh, home to Fayetteville, North Carolina. So without further ado, let's um, hit the road uh, and see how it goes. And before anybody asks any uh, crazy questions or things of that nature, I did actually get the um, temporary tag and certificate and stuff here from um, the state of South Carolina. I have all my paperwork in order. Uh, and I am good to go. So it, before someone says, TK, you can't drive that thing without a tag, I actually got a temporary, what they call a temporary permit that will let me drive this from here uh, to home without me having to use a transport tag because, you know, using using the Kansas tramp, transport tag here to move a car from South Carolina, North Carolina, eh, we're trying to keep everything on the up and up. So we just got the little uh, transport thing, all the paperwork and stuff was done. And we'll talk about prices and stuff maybe in the next video on how much this car was. And I'll talk about why um, it was purchased. But anyways, without further ado, let's see how it drives because I don't know shit about this car. I've always seen these with all the lights on them whenever I see these at Copart or IA and they're ragged out. Oh, I got a full tank of gas. I can't complain about that, right? Now, they did tell me that the tire pressure monitoring system does not work. They're missing the things, the I guess the little modules in the tires, and they just don't want to replace them. Um, I will literally just find some on eBay from like a Dodge Dart and get them programmed so that they work with this and it'll work just fine. But anyways... Uh, no check engine lights or nothing. Looks like we got a 367 mile range. Now I believe this thing has what a 10 gallon tank or a um, oh, Put my seatbelt on I believe it either has a 10 gallon tank or a nine and a half the gallon tank not big at all I also got my relevant tools and everything I need in the event that I have an issue on the way And of course I was at you know, we did the deal here at Bucky's so I had to get 
a uh, bag of D's nuts. Put her in gear. Oh, and let's see how she drives. Now, I don't have a lot of faith in this thing being super fast or zippy. I just hope that it uh, gets the job done. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's not that far. I think I have like about a 40 minute drive between here and Fayetteville, so shouldn't be bad. Uh, and in case you're worried, uh, no, I have somebody following me, so I am good. Oh, that South Carolina flag, boy. All right, let's see if we can get this thing down the road. We'll check the AC. Now, I already checked the AC when we were doing the, you know, going over the vehicle. I know the AC does work. I just want to see how she drives without the AC, and then I'll turn the AC on. I know this thing doesn't have the biggest power plant, so it is what it is. Oh, man, she does. I, I'm not going to front, though. It is just nice and easy. No vibrations or pulls or nothing. Wait a minute. I thought this was supposed to be a fix it again, Tony. Let me find out I got a stupid deal on this car. Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. And major shout out to um, SRT1. I'll uh, link his uh, Instagram in the description down below for one, carrying my ass up here to come get this, and two, uh, following me back to make sure that I make it. <laughs> now, where this thing is so low miles has basically no check engine lights or anything. I don't think it's going to be an issue making it, but um, yeah, still, it's always good to have somebody rolling with you. Man, gas prices are so beautiful out here, man. All righty. So we're going to take 95 until we get to south of the border. We'll get off there, and then we'll just roll the back roads. Ugh. All right, it's 50, 55. 60 seems to be is it not shifting oh don't tell me it's not shifting shift oh shit there it is Woo, i was nervous for a minute <laughs> i was nervous for a minute man oh my god all right so we're almost at 3000 rpms at 70 miles an hour not bad i guess for what it is god this thing you can hear all you feel all the road you hear a lot of road noise in this Like hardly ever driven. 
So I think it's awesome, personally. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to win any awards. I'm not going to get anywhere exceptionally fast. But for the money, this is a pretty cool car. Look at these idiots. Whew, I'm not even going to talk about speed right now. Jesus. But we're about halfway in on the trip and seems seems to be running just fine. No issues, no check lights, cruise control works, AC works, uh, wipers, I mean everything seems to work and, and you would expect that. I mean the car looks like it's in immaculate condition. Um, seems to run great. I'll get into, like I said, we'll get into like all the different features and all the crap that the car has in a future video, but we got to get this to Fayetteville, um, I got to do a couple different things, link up with some people and stuff, and then, then, in an upcoming video, we're going to take this on a trip up to uh, Washington, D.C., and then uh, Fort Meade, Maryland, so uh, stay tuned for that, and I don't know if you guys know what's at Fort Meade, but uh, lots of fun, anyways, we're going to... Um, continue on our trip. I don't think this is going to have an issue making it back to Fayetteville, so, but let's see. Alright guys, so we have made it into Fayetteville. Um, we're on the outskirts here, out here off of Owen Drive. We're going to go in. I'm going to link up with some peoples. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to get stuff rolling, man. Get stuff going. And uh, it'll be interesting. We'll get this thing up. We're gonna go. We're gonna bring it by the um, regular muffler shop that we go to here in Fayetteville. We're gonna get it up on the rack. We're gonna take a look under the car and all that stuff. We'll be doing that probably in the next video or the third video where we do like everything that's wrong with the car. What's crazy is I don't think that there's going to be anything wrong with the car. Okay, now I just saw the Fayetteville city limits. Now we're in Fayetteville. But we're going to go up here, um, get into uh, my little area up here, try to link up with some people, have some fun, and go from there. Oh, man. Back on good old 401. So, needless to say, um, the car made it down here literally perfectly fine. Still no check lights, no errors. Um, drove perfectly fine. AC works. She's just moving, man. And, and, and to be honest, with the gas mileage and stuff I got on this thing, you can see I barely used any gas to get here. The gas gauge is still full. So um, this thing is, is a pretty dope little car, man. I mean, don't get it twisted. We're going to get into all the quirks and features and why you probably wouldn't want to buy one of these or you know used one and two what would happen to you in the event that you got into an accident mm, probably nothing positive right this is a very small car like i said i can touch the rear hatch with my hand the door the passenger door i can touch pretty much every part of the inside of this car with my hand that's never a positive thing so anywho's we're gonna um roll up here for a minute we'll take a walk around and give you guys another walk around here before we close out uh because we are here you gotta run by the dodge dealership while i'm here so all right guys as you can see she survived not even a lot of bugs or crazy stuff the only crazy divine seat feature i don't really like about this car is the way that that wiper is bent and sticks up it's kind of weird but outside of that that's it so there she is guys you'll see her for a little bit here on the channel i'll probably end up uh flipping this for a profit if possible especially where she's so low miles i won't try to rack the miles up on it let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below like i said i'm gonna be out here uh, for a little bit i'm probably gonna work on some videos and stuff with people that i know uh out here in uh Fayetteville so stay tuned for those but um yeah again thank you guys very much for watching I truly appreciate it this was uh fun I haven't done a, a pickup and drive it back in a while to see how it would do and uh this one actually worked out really well anyways let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys very soon
on the next one.